Hello, this is Christina Hendricks, and I'm a part of OOE13. And on Twitter, somebody asked if I could explain briefly how to archive a Twitter chat or even just a few tweets on Storify. So I'm just going to show you that briefly. Well, first of all, you have to go to Storify.com, and you'll have to sign up for an account if you don't have one already. Once you've done that, create story. Of course, you have to deal with my... Um, extremely slow connection. There we go. All right, you can only create a private story um, if you have an account, which I don't. Otherwise, you have to create a public story. Here, you just enter a title of some kind, enter a description. Now, a Storify actually lets you archive a bunch of things like Twitter, things from Facebook, things from YouTube, things from Flickr, etc. right? Oh, it actually can do Google. I don't know what it, I don't know exactly what it finds. Okay, anyway, I just wanna make this quick. So let's do Twitter. You can do a search for a hashtag, which might be what you wanna do. Um, you can include uh, retweets or not. So I don't usually like to include retweets, you know, it's just the same thing more than once, which is great for an actual chat, but maybe not for archiving. Uh, recent, I'm actually, uh, I, I don't want just recent tweets necessarily. I want to have them all, let's say. And then I was also want to include the links. So this is actually going to give you all of the tweets that have that hashtag. Well, I don't know how far back it goes. I think it's only seven days. So if you want to do anything seven b before, sorry, longer than seven days, it's really, really hard to do. So you just pick which tweets you want to archive. If you were going to do a whole Twitter chat, you just start putting all these things in. You drag and drop. Now, I'm not being very careful here, but you would want to pay attention to the order. Do you want to start off um, chronologically? So what came first goes first, or do you want to go backwards chronologically? I always find the forwards chronologically better. And I think that this... Um, this uh, Storify goes backwards, uh, I believe. Yeah. So you have to actually go down, you have to scroll down, go all the way to where you want to start, right? And then start doing it from there. Anyway, it's, it's very easy. It's drag and drop. Now, um, then when you're done, you just want to publish. So you can save it at any time. The other cool thing that you can do in Storify is you can start typing typing something so that you can introduce part of a chat. So you could say, here was question one, here was question two. You can insert a YouTube video. I'm just gonna put in here UBC because I know there are some videos. Let's say you wanna put in a video in between just for fun. You can throw that in there. It's super, super easy. Okay, I want to show you one other thing. I'm not going to save this because it's not anything very interesting. Um, but I want to show you something that I did when I took ET MOOC or at MOOC, Educational Technology and Media MOOC. I storified or I made an archive of my whole experience on here. Um, where do I find all my stories? Uh, my life at MOOC 2013. Now, basically what this can be is like a very large blog post if you want to. And that's what happened. I, I, I storified things from January till March. Um, so I've got some narrative in here. I have a link to a website. I have a video that someone did. I have tweets and then I talk about those tweets. I have, I have links to blog posts. Um, so I, I found this really nice because as I went through each week, I would um, put together an archive of the things that were really meaningful to me in addition to doing blog posts. I wish I had time to do that right now, but I don't. But if anybody has time, I, I found it really useful. And then you can um, put it on your blog by copying this embed code and uh, pasting it onto your blog. You can also export... Um, not as PDF unless you buy, but if you know what you're doing, you can export using these codes or you can even export to WordPress 
If you've got a self-hosted WordPress, wordpress.com, Tumblr, Drupal, I don't know how to use that. So I actually just put this on my blog when I was done, which was pretty cool. All right, if you've got any questions about that, um, you can uh, ask me on Google+, which is where I'm going to be posting this. Thanks.